Okay. Welcome to just a little bit of outside talk, right? Welcome to a little bit of outside talk. How you doing? Welcome. Typically, we do a lot of Disney stuff, right? There's some things, some changes coming here soon to Walt Disney World. Some exciting, some scary, but ultimately exciting nonetheless. Uh, the one that comes to my mind first is what is happening to the Muppets at Hollywood Studios, Disney's Hollywood Studios Park. It resonates with me because it's been around since, I, I remember seeing it open. It's the only park I remember opening. Um, I mean, other than, I guess, Animal Kingdom too, but back when I was a kid, Hollywood Studios opened and it was awesome. It was so cool being behind the scenes in the movies and everything. It's, it's definitely transitioned away from that of what it was originally, but it's still a fantastic park. I love it. It's getting better and better all the time. But as we continue to make changes, things happen, right? There's only a limited amount of space they have. So some stuff may have to go where other things may have to come in. So it's really scary thinking about the new a really fun sounding uh, Monstropolis land, Monsters Inc. themed land, where they are going to have at least one ride, the uh, coaster, which we've already always thought that it would, it was designed to be a coaster right from the movie. Where is it going to go? My first thought was, well, it has to go to where like the Star Wars launch bay is, because it's a bunch of space there that is not really utilized, but maybe. You know, as you look from like an aerial view, maybe it's really not that much space and maybe there's a lot of office space that is utilized. So they would have to maybe move some people or, or make some new buildings for that. I don't know, I don't know if they actually use that or not. But the other place that it rumored, <laughs> is rumored to go is uh, the Muppets area. Well, Muppets is a, it's a classic, right? Muppet Vision 3D was the last thing that Jim Henson ever worked on before he passed. So it's kind of a, a, a legacy thing that I, I want it to stay, but no one ever goes there. Every time you go in, it's maybe half capacity at most. I get it if they do have to put things there. Um, but my thought is it's not a very large area. You got that, you've got uh, Pizza Rizzo, um, and then you've got like uh, Mama Melrose is in the back, and it, it, which is a great restaurant too. If you haven't gone there, it's, it's great. I don't know if it always was, but uh, the, the last three times we've gone, it's been fantastic. Yeah, so that's one thing that is gonna happen somewhere, some way. Another thing going on is at Animal Kingdom. We just went there recently. We'll, we'll include a link to the video um, somewhere uh, where we went around in Animal Kingdom and we looked at primarily the uh, Dino Land area uh, because all of that is confirmed. Dino Land USA is gonna be changed over to the uh, like in Canto, like a Latin America type of um, land. Encanto is actually a really great movie. I, when I watched it, I was like, holy moly, I love this movie. The music and the animation and the story, it, I, it was fantastic. I, I fell in love immediately. Also, uh, you got Dino Soar, <laughs> the, the ride. Dinosaur is gonna be transitioned into a Indiana, an Indiana Jones ride, very similar to what's in Disneyland. We went there, that was really fun. We'll add another link to that video because that was, that was an amazing trip. Um, but they're saying that it's not just gonna be a transplant, or not a transplant, but a copy of the Disneyland ride. It's gonna be a whole new story. Who knows what that means? I don't know if they're gonna keep the, the track layout the way that it is because uh, while they are extremely similar, they're not exact copies of each other. Uh, dinosaur and Indiana Jones. I am excited about that. Heck, what else is going on? Oh, Magic Kingdom, uh, <laughs> Villains Land. That is a thing that's coming. And just like a villain, it's gonna chop the head off of uh, Tom Sawyer's Island. It's another one of those things that's it's bittersweet, right? Rivers of America, where you can ride the Liberty Bell. Like, that's really fun. I really enjoy riding the Liberty Bell around uh, Rivers of America. I think more people utilize that than they do going to Tom Sawyer's Island. So I understand taking away Tom Sawyer's Island, but that, uh, that element of just relaxing boat ride around the rivers of America, I feel like that may be something that it takes away from Magic Kingdom slightly, but a new land, super cool, villain's land. Oh, and, and like a Cars frontier land uh, area. I don't, I don't know why I quotated that. There's gonna be a Cars area uh, as well with a new ride. The concept art looks really fun. 
It looks really cool. So I am excited about that. It seems really neat. It's gonna bring a lot of people to that area. Right now you have to walk around Rivers of America um, because you, you can't go in the water, shouldn't go in the water can but you don't do that because they will kick you out you'll never be back and it's not safe right it ruins things for other people so don't, don't do that rivers of america it's going to be emptied out filled in and we're going to have some new stuff we're going to have villains um we're going to have cars it's going to be really interesting villains land looks really really neat it looks like there's maybe a coaster type ride in there um obviously villains um it, it can be really interesting and neat as part of a story. You can't always have just the good parts in the story, but you gotta have the bad parts, the bad guys, right? You gotta have that balance, you know, with the force. You gotta have the balance of the force. Can't be all Jedi or all Sith. It's gotta be both. One doesn't exist without the other. So that's why you gotta have villains. Anyways, yeah, that's just some of the things that uh, that we talk about here. And it's just trying a new s setting for uh, something on the channel just for a, something a little bit different um, just to uh, something to spark some uh, conversation and maybe something down in the comments maybe we can all talk together find out you know what we like what we don't like um, you know discuss uh, things we're excited about um, reminisce on old things that we're you know remember from way back in the day or, or something that's going to be gone soon uh, but in any case yeah I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me talking for a few minutes and trying this new format of a video might do this every once in a while just a little talk like this outside because it's nice outside looks cool please if you made it in this far in the video and you like this type of thing or you like what we do you know please subscribe it really helps us anyways we'll see you guys in the next one but until then see ya